All right, let's go with the acid flow. So we described the MDL and we said the attacker can control all of this content except the map system VA. And so all of this is going to be fed from the untrusted normal kernel into the secure kernel. The relevant bit here is that this structure takes at a minimum hex 30 worth of space in order to put all of these fields. The PFN array after it is going to be variable length, but at a minimum you need at least hex 30 bytes in order to allocate space for all of these fields in the structure. Why does that matter? Well, you'll see in a second here. Okay, so we said we're just gonna, you know, treat this as opaque. We don't know what's going on, but, you know, acid in, acid out. And now this is transfer MDL is going to be attacker controlled. So the transfer MDL byte count is one of those many fields that we said is fully attacker controlled. And if this SK allocate pool has an attacker controlled byte count that ends up being less than the size of an MDL, that means that this allocation is going to be too small. So it's an allocation for an MDL, which needs at least hex 30, but what if this says 10, for instance, instead of 30? That means all of a sudden when you try to fill this in, you're gonna be going out of bounds of that 10 bytes that was allocated. So moving on, we see the undo MDL is checked for null to see if there was an allocation failure. Let's assume there wasn't. We said the attacker doesn't control the mapped system VA, which we'll just assume was mapped somewhere in there. And even though they don't control it, the data that it points at, the virtual address that it points at, is ultimately just this attacker controlled data. So the original undo MDL is still attacker controlled data. And then down here we have a acid byte count and an acid byte offset being used in conjunction with an under allocated undo MDL being passed into MM initialize MDL. So that's going to ultimately be an overcopy because MM initialize MDL, as you saw in the source code, fills in a bunch of those structure fields inside the MDL, which is hex 30 big. And this memory allocation is only hex 10 big, if we assume that was hex 10. Therefore, this is going to do a whole bunch of writing that is ultimately going to exceed the bounds of this particular heap allocation. So ultimately, when mm initialize MDL is called, if you're assuming that this under allocated, what was the undo MDL is 10 bytes big and you've got attacker controlled base VA and attacker controlled length, then ultimately any sort of access that this does past the first 10 bytes is ultimately going to be overflowing the heap. So that's fine for things like next size or MDL flags. Those are all within the first 10 bytes. But once you start getting into things like start VA, well, that's at offset 20, so that is out of bounds of this 10 byte allocation. That's out of bounds, and it's writing acid. Byte offset is out of bounds, and it's writing acid. And byte count is out of bounds, and it's writing acid. So how would you fix that? Well, it's relatively easy to fix. You just need to make sure that that byte count is not less than the size of the MDL. And if it is, error route and return back. So easy peasy, right? Well, the fix for this vulnerability is extremely easy, and as you'll see in the exploitation section, the exploitation is not very easy.